Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this game. It's a, a bitmap, and he's trying to redraw it. And here's one he's redrawn, and it looks pretty good. But just looking at it like the corners, and he says it's not rotating very well. And he's trying to trace it and change it. This is the kind of stuff that would be so much easier just to redraw. And I can see by the what he left on here, he trying to make a heart. And I'm thinking he's going to need the other uh, heart and spade and clubs. So just as a reminder to go to text. In later versions, it's gift. And the other one is it's insert chem, uh, symbols. Most of the time, you're going to be looking at the entire font. And there'll be a lot of symbols. Well, you can go right here and just do symbols. And then go down and just go down and look at the symbols. And here they are. There's the spade holding, just hold down your control button. Here's a club. Here's a heart. Here's the diamond. Doesn't get any easier than that. And they're pretty good. So that's under Arial symbols. You can get to it through text and GIFs or through Windows, Dockers, and under the, I can't see it right now, under the, um, right here under the text, it's the same thing. It's, in your version, it might be say in, in, uh, insert characters. So we're just going to make one real quick. And I don't know if this is a true, true heart that, you know, they would come in a, a set of cards if that's exactly right, but make it any size you want. So let's say it is. So let's take this drawing and put it P, put it in the center of the page. All I need is two circles. I'm going to take the ellipse tool, draw a circle and hit P. And I'm going to make it yellow and make it thick right now so you can see it in your monitor, hopefully. Uh, I'm working on millimeters, so I don't know, so I'm gonna change it to points, just because I know more, a little bit thicker, too thick. And always keep in mind that there's a number you can't get to. You know, if it's between eight and 10, you can always just type in nine. See, there's four to six, four, four to eight. I want a six, I can just type in six. Now, while you got that, hold down the shift key and that circle will grow from the inside out. Control D and make a duplicate and then hold it down and make it grow from the in, uh, outside in. That's all we need. I'm gonna make them black. So we, whoop. I'm gonna right click and make it black so we can see it. There's eight sectors. So we're going to take a two point line and just holding down the control button and we're going to go and make it six points. And I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Now I'm going to control D and rotate that. And because it's a line, the center rotation is already in the center and rotate it 45 degrees. 45 degrees, control D, control D. It's that easy. Several ways you could do this, but probably the easiest, just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these outer lines. Now, in his drawing, it's like, and he's gonna, he actually did tell me that he's gonna print this for home use. They play it or whatever the game it is. I don't know about right now, but you could always, right now you could go and convert this thing to an uh, outline to an object, and then you could left click, right click, and you get this right here. And then you could make it any color you want later. Uh, this is not as important, but you could go ahead and uh, knock out these lines all the way around. And then just stay inside the, and the indexing line is gonna give you problems so you can move it out of the way. 
You can always put it back. We don't need it really anymore, I don't think, because it's a... But once you do that, then you could fill this in with whatever color you wanted, and it would be all filled in. But I'm not going to bother you with that. But what we are going to do is we're going to find out how big this thing is. And it's five inches. Surely it's going to be bigger than that. I don't know. But we're going to set our nudge factor on six. And we're going to control D and make a duplicate of this guy and move it out of the way. Now what I want to do, I want this on the very bottom, this sector. So I'm going to control G and group it. And I'm going to rotate it. Half of that 45 is 22.5. Now I've got something to work with. And my heart will go in the middle of that or wherever I want in that. So what you could do is let's just kind of make our heart the size of his heart. And really probably the easiest to do is put a smart fill that. Left click, right click. Take this heart. Tell you what, let's move all this down. I could have changed my nudge factor to something lower. And let's take this heart and let's just grab them both and hit CE. And we don't want to do that. Because see, did you see it move? So we want to select this one first, hold down the, sh the shift key, select that one second, and then go CE. <clears throat> that way this box didn't move so we can rotate it right back. Then all you do is just take your now, let's, okay, remember our nudge factor is on six. Let's just change it to point two. Let's grab just the, the heart. That's too much. Point one. Grab just the heart and nudge it up. And then write Jack. All capital letters. Pick whatever font you want. I'm going to say uh, maybe a bold hit. I don't really have to hit P, but just it is not going to really be in the center, but we could do the same thing. Select it, select our outside, hit CE, and then just nudge that down. Grab all that. Change our nudge factor to six. And there you go. I'm going to make a second video on how to do more stuff on it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.